Okay, so in this lesson of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically use your normal maps, your specular maps, your ambient occlusion maps inside of Photoshop to sort of capture detail inside of your texture so that whenever you apply your texture um, to your character model, even in some cases uh, your static meshes or you know your product models, you will get a lot of detail not only inside the the model itself but also inside of the texture and this just takes a little bit of um a uh, little bit of layer tweaking and a little bit of editing with the uh, the opacity and fill channels inside of Photoshop to go ahead and capture that detail. So the first thing we want to do here, and you can see I have a pants texture, and this is from a a previous character project, and I basically just brought in the pants, and here's our normal map as well. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm basically basically just going to drag the the normal map on top of the texture I'll go ahead and just minimize that so that we can focus specifically here on the pants texture now we obviously can't overlay this on top of the pants texture because it has color information in it and if we do that what's gonna happen is you can see where it's basically gonna turn purple and we don't want this to turn purple because if we go back into our 3D application and try and apply this of what looks like this, it's going to look weird whenever we apply it for the texture. It's just not going to you know, render correctly. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take all the color information that's inside of this normal map and basically just desaturate it. So we'll go to Image, Adjustments, and we'll just desaturate it. This way it turns black and white but we also need to adjust the levels here and after doing a couple of, of these there I mean there's really no specific numbers that I'll actually put in here I mean it, it's all just personal adjustment and thinking what I think is probably gonna uh, end up overlaying well or looking good whenever we go to basically overlay it onto the texture here so I'm just gonna adjust these levels a little bit Okay, we'll hit OK there. And, you know, just use your, uh, I'll bring it back over here, our layers adjustment tool. And just basically go through the list and see what, you know, what's going to look good whenever we overlay it. And you, see, you can see here that the normal map is going to allow us to basically capture a lot of, a lot of um, sculpt information, which is inside of the normal map and then we can basically put that into what is our texture and if we just you know just keep going down the list just basically go with what uh... what you think is actually going to look good for your character model um, i don't really specifically use one specific um, overlay type of information onto the under the te texture or what to overlay it at it's all just you know basically go down the list and see what works best for you and so we'll uh, go ahead and use overlay here and we need to basically adjust our opacity and fill here and you can see where you're still capturing you know a good amount of detail on your on your character here but obviously like black lines like this just aren't gonna aren't going to be what you want. You're basically going to have to, let's say, erase them off of the off of the normal map. So, turn this back to normal, and we're basically just going to have to, you know, erase them off of the uh, the normal map. But I'll go ahead and just back up a little bit so that we can capture that correctly and then if we let's say bring in you know the specular maps that we've used as well which would be the ambient occlusion there and the spec map there as well if we overlay these also onto the texture you're going to capture a good amount of a, a really good amount of uh, 
detail for your for your character's texture. So we'll go ahead and put bring that in. And you can see that this doesn't really have any color information on it, so we can simply just um, adjust the layer styles here. But you can see that's probably a little blurry. We'll just adjust the, the layer style on that as well. This would be our spec map. So if we go ahead and simply just adjust the layer styles on this as well. You can really, you know, enhance your textures and you can basically really capture a lot of detail inside of the texture, not not just the model for your character. And there you can see that we do have a good amount of detail in our texture for our character. And it's just simply overlaying it. And, and that's uh, a huge trick that I use or a huge tip that I use because I'm definitely not a, a, uh, a Photoshop genius, Photoshop master. And this allows me to capture a lot of detail inside of our, our textures, inside of my textures for whether it be characters or, or props, cars, you know, no matter what I do, I tend to do this inside of Photoshop because it's going to allow me to enhance details just in the textures. And so I'll not only get, you know, a good amount of detail through a sculpt, but I'll also get a lot of detail through the textures. Um, so I would, yeah, go ahead and use this technique whenever you're uh, texturing your characters or, and whatnot, and you'll end up seeing that a lot of this stuff will... Um, factor over into whenever you uh, go to render your characters.